Ghana Nuclear Power Program Organization is mandated to develop a civil nuclear power program for the generation of electricity. The utmost objective of this program is to add a resilient and reliable capacity to the existing one. The GMPPO has been involved with the International Atomic Energy Agency for capacity building of its varied stakeholder organizations. So far, a lot of stakeholders have benefited from these training programs and they've given very impressive accounts of these training programs. The Environmental Protection Agency is a key stakeholder in this program, a key stakeholder in the area of the environmental assessment and also the stakeholder engagement and public participation. We've had a lot of training from various angles, but the key one which pertains to what I do here was the training held in Vienna in relation to public participation and stakeholder engagement. It was very useful because it took us through the methodology of how to get people's perception, people's ideas, social inclusion into this kind of program. So the objective was to introduce to us how we can get people to accept the idea of nuclear energy in Ghana. Our main concern has to do with uh, soils and foundations. So, such that if we locate a site, we are able to satisfy all the basic requirements to make sure that the site is suitable for the construction of the nuclear power plant. I had the opportunity to be in China in 2015, between the 19th and the 24th of October. And that program had to do with uh, the engineering procurement, construction and contracting uh, involving nuclear power plants. And I'll say that uh, the encounter was very enlightening. In this part of the world, we really don't, uh, haven't seen or haven't observed firsthand uh, some of these uh, things that we have read in books. And so we had the opportunity to be in China for a whole week and um, it involved the whole gamut of the uh, constructing, contracting process of uh, nuclear power plants. I attended the consultants meeting on human resource planning and modeling for newcomer countries, during which we were introduced to the NPHR modeling tool. This tool has been beneficial to my organization in the modeling and planning for human resource needs by the phases of the program. Also, I attended the SACON workshop and that also introduced us and explained to us um, the competencies required and how to plan for trainings for acquiring those competencies required for the regulator for a successful nuclear power program. Indeed, the Ghana Nuclear Power Program has made considerable gains as a result of our continuous commitment to our, our objective, as well as our continuous association with the International Atomic Energy Agency. Building capacity, which remains a major focus and a pillar of, for every successful nuclear power program, has been an objective that the IE has been pursuing and are making great effort in ensuring that member states have the necessary knowledge to be able to effectively discharge on their programs. The Ghana Nuclear Power Program Organization, for that matter, the Nuclear Power Institute, has acquired much more knowledge through these training programs, especially in the modeling and using of tools that will assist in developing our program. So far, we have used the NPHR and we have also acquired some knowledge on Octopus that will help us to develop a national human resource and workforce plan for our program. And this has helped the program so much as far as the phase one accomplishment is concerned. The Volta River Authority is engaged in power generation for Ghana and its neighboring countries, namely Togo, Benin, and Cote d'Ivoire, where there has been interconnections. In our quest as a generator to diversify generating sources, VRA has been involved with the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, principally the Nuclear Power Institute, in the Ghana Nuclear 
Power Program. The VRA has a nuclear desk at the Engineering Services Department where a lot of collaborations have been carried out with the Nuclear Power Institute. Currently, we have some young engineers studying in Korea in nuclear engineering. We have also been supportive of public education and other stakeholder engagements using the VRA platform for information dissemination on nuclear power projects. Particularly with me, I had to learn firsthand about quality control and quality assurance processes in the build-up of a nuclear power plant. The selection, the site selection for, for that matter. And uh, we had to learn a lot about uh, site selection, making sure that site preparation is uh, satisfied, the ground conditions, uh, subsurface, uh, subsoil conditions, preparation uh, of concrete, curing of concrete, measuring of concrete temperatures to make sure that the foundations were solid enough for the power plant to be stable to perform its stated functions. I had always had a positive feel about nuclear energy, but the training affirmed and reinforced that indeed it is going to help, especially as a country, Ghana, we've signed onto the Paris Agreement to decarbonize. Now, one of the major areas that you can decarbonize is the nuclear energy, which again, our government has very good ideas to actually leap the country from where it is into very high development. Ghana is undertaking various activities regarding the nuclear infrastructure development. The country is working to ensure the delivery of a sustainable nuclear energy program in a safe, secure, and efficient manner. As part of the program to enhance public perception of nuclear power, I had the privilege to attend a workshop last year, June 2017, in Vienna, Austria, on stakeholder involvement and public information. The workshop provided me the opportunity to share in the experience and the activities of other countries involved in the nuclear power project, their cultural challenges, and how these can be adapted for the Ghanaian understanding. And I'd say that the, both programs have been very beneficial to my organization and to myself in, the, in planning for the needs of human resource development and also requirements for the organization to better make us prepared for a successful nuclear power program in Ghana. We could say that Ghana nuclear power program can be a mirage if not under the light of the IEA TC project. We are so grateful to the IEA for helping the Ghana nuclear power program to be beneficial as far as where we have attained its consent. And we have the view that to help member states actually continue in their effort in developing the program, IEA should sustain some of this program and even enhance them further so that member states can actually improve on their civil nuclear power program and be knowledgeable enough to actually help society in gaining the benefits that IEA is investing in. And we also wish that other member states should also be involved financially in supporting such activity. Mm -hmm.